Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you an overview of summary information and actions for various Workforce Compensation Plan worksheets. Through my team and Workforce Compensation, I can start to work on my team's compensation. Workforce Compensation Plans are highly configurable, so the specific tasks and information you see for each plan vary according to how it's set up and your role. These plans can include the Manage Budgets, Promote, Compensate, Approve, Communicate, Performance, and Models worksheets. They can even include multiple worksheets for the same type of task. The worksheets are also highly configurable, and the available actions, analytics, and data can also vary depending on how they're set up and your role. On the Reward worksheet, I can view key information such as the amounts and percentages for the overall, allocated, and remaining budgets. The Scoreboard and Analytics views display the key information for this budget and for everyone reporting to me. I can move between components using this link or the Previous and Next icon. The table view displays a separate summary row for each of the components and the key information for my direct reports. The Actions menu options vary depending on the type of worksheet and the configuration. I can apply some or all of the actions depending on how it's set up and my role. The actions apply to the people displayed on the worksheet, which I can change as needed. I can use the Team filter to display my direct reports, a specific manager, or I can see everyone. Alerts can be very useful because they can call attention when I enter a value over the allowed amount, when there's a salary issue, or when someone leaves the organization. In this plan, the columns where I can enter values are shaded so I can identify them quickly. When I enter a bonus amount and then press Tab, the bonus percentage value is automatically calculated. I can also enter notes or attachments to help explain my changes to my approving manager. When I'm finished with my allocations, I can save the worksheet. I can use the worksheet list to open another worksheet or return to the plan and click another task link. On the performance worksheet, I can view summary information and analytics, such as rating and target percentage minimum and maximum. I can also set overall performance ratings and rankings. On the promote worksheet, I can see summary information, such as the percentage of people promoted and deviations from company targets. I can also see the summaries by various categories, such as team, country, and years in job. On the Communicate worksheet, I can let my people know about changes to their compensation allocations, performance ratings, and of promotions done as part of a workforce compensation cycle. I communicate the changes with compensation change statements. How I generate and distribute the statements depends on how the worksheet delivery option was configured. This concludes the Overview of Workforce Compensation Plan Worksheets tutorial. Thanks for watching.